um, if you if you normally use any kind of small weights or maybe even um, I, I'm using these rubber bands today. So if you have those rubber bands, um, you can grab them. You don't necessarily need them, but it, it might be useful to use some sort of a, a rubber band for the exercise practice today. So let's just go ahead and get warmed up. Please grab whatever you need, water, towel, whatever you need, and then um, come onto your mat. Have your feet be a little bit wider than hip width apart, your toes turn out, your knees turn out. We're just gonna gently begin to soften through the hips and the knees, taking it side to side. And each time you um, go to one side, just flex the other foot. So that flexion of the foot really helps you stretch out the calves and the back of the knee. Sometimes it gets really tight in that area. And then bend one knee, straighten the other knee. Nice and slow. Then we're going to add the arms, inhaling and exhaling. Just keeping going side to side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then bring your feet to, uh, to the center, to stillness. Inhale your arms out to the side. Flex your um, wrist. And then we're going to do nice little rotations of the shoulder. So your hands are flexed just like this, and you're just gonna rotate your shoulders back. And imagine you have a little pencil behind the shoulder blades. Each time you go back, just kind of squeeze the shoulder blade together down your back. The circles are little teeny tiny little circles, no big deal. We're not going through giant circles yet. And then reverse the motion. So circling forward, very nice. You can stand still or you can move your leg, whatever it feels comfortable for you. And then keeping the hands flexed, pause there and you're just gonna lift the fingertips towards the sky. Just warming up the arms, lifting the fingertips towards the sky. Make sure the shoulders are not uh, creeping up to the ears. The shoulder is still down away from the ears. You're just doing this little pulses up towards the sky. Very nice. A couple more. Keep breathing. And then turn the fingers down. So now you're doing an extension of the wrist. And then you're going to do the same movement. So circling back. Keep breathing. Good, good, good. Circling forward. Nice. And then little pulses. Very nice. And then um, come back to the center, bring your, turn your toes out, your um, knees out, and then you're gonna flex the hands and point it down. Flex and point, and flex and point, and flex and point, very nice, flex and point, good, excellent. You should be feeling this in the arms, nice. Now we're gonna add a little bit of bigger movement. So continue to lower the arms down as you keep flexing and pointing. And then we're gonna raise the arms up to the side as we keep flexing and pointing. Your elbows can stay soft through the whole thing. So you don't need to hyperextend the elbows. Go as high as you like to, and then bring it down. Almost like you're flying, like, you know, la 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 la, -la. <laughs> And then take it up. Like your extension of your wings, and you're just, you know, your beautiful meadows, and you're just flapping your wings all the way up. And then last one, bring it down. Beautiful. And then relax the arm, shake it out a little bit. Take a nice deep inhalation. Take your arms all the way up to the side. Interlace the fingers. Turn the palms up towards the sky. Reach the palms away from the shoulders and then bend them. So maybe you need to extend your legs farther away from each other. Bend the knees. 
and then you're going to take it to the side and back to the center and over to the other side and back to the center it doesn't need to be that deep you're just stretching out the sides and the spine before we get going on our exercises and out to the side and in and out to the side and in and maybe a little bit deeper and in and a little bit deeper and in and then slowly begin to extend the opposite knee coming back to the center so as you go to the right extend the left leg come back to the center as you go to the left extend the right knee and back to the center and extend almost like you're really reaching out of the waist now so initially we started with reaching out of the shoulder now we're doing a reach out of the waist really lengthening that side and then last one excellent and come back to the center bend the knees bring the arms in front of you turn the palms up and then you're just going to do little uh, pulses up towards the sky so my hands my wrists are shoulder height and you're just going to do little teeny teeny little pulses up and 10 and 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two and one hold here turn the palms down straighten the knees and you're going to press back behind you bend the knees turn the palms up straighten the knees press back bend the knees turn the palms up just shoulder height it doesn't need to come up on um, higher than that and then press back and up and press and up and press and lift and press good so you're adding the squats maybe each time you get a little bit lower in your squat and press and lift inhale and press back exhale lift inhale press back exhale lift inhale press back exhale so as you're pressing back i want you to really squeeze the buttocks lift up inhaling down and squeeze the buttocks and lift up bring, bring the arms behind you inhaling exhaling lift up and 10 and up and nine squeeze the buttocks as you lift up and eight and press back behind you and six very nice five and four that's three good job two more very nice last one and then this time as you straighten the knees pause here now imagine you have doorknobs behind you you're just going to turn the doorknob behind you so turn from your entire arm not just the wrist but really turning and turning so good for your triceps and turn and turn it keep it going 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 very nice shake it out stretch it out bring that right arm in front of you stretch out the tricep Take the same arm overhead and stretch it out, stretch out the tricep and shoulder. You might feel a little bit of warmth in the arms. Take the opposite arm in front, reach across the room. And then take the arm above your head, reach and just kind of gently guide that tricep open. Good. And then release the hands. Now take your legs way out to the side. And we're just going to do these little movements. You can have your hands, hold your, um, bring your hands together and then interlace the fingers. So you're making little fists like this. Bend the left knee, reach across your body. And then as you exhale, reach all the way. Bend the left knee, reach across and press the earth away as you reach up. Bend the left knee, reach and up. Good. Bend the left knee, reach and up so as you notice my hips are still pointing forward all i'm doing is reaching 
from the upper back. You can go as deep as you want to, as long as you really maintain your belly, your lower, engage your lower belly and reach down and reach up. There's no jerky movements. It's nice and controlled and down and up and down and up and five more down and up and four more down and lift and three more down keep the belly in so you protect your back and last one very nice come back to the center bend the opposite knee reach across and top tap your uh, right knee and then as you straighten you reach up and bend and tap and reach up and bend and tap and reach up notice one side is always a little bit easier, right? So maybe you're a little bit more mobile on this side, maybe less mobile. It's okay, just notice it. And reach. And as long as you maintain your core, as long as you keep the core nice and strong, you can reach as low as you want to. And because you're not using momentum, you're actually strengthening your low back, your upper back, your spine. And one more time. That's beautiful. And then come back to the center, putting your hands on your thighs, just kind of rotate and uh, switch side to side, bending one knee, straighten the other knee. And five. And four. That's three. That's two. Good job, and last one, very nice. Bring your feet together. So now we're gonna, so that was just a warm up. welcome. Now we're gonna really get into the nitty gritty. So I have a couple of weights here. Um, you don't need the weights. I also have the rubber bands here. Again, you don't need the rubber bands. You can just do exactly what we were just doing uh, without the rubber band. If you have the rubber band, go ahead and grab it. We're just gonna kind of, Put it around our thigh. Make a little um, tie it nice and tight so that so initially you just want to be able to have your feet and hip wide, wide apart from each other or hip with our uh, hip width apart from each other. Take a big step out to the right, bend the knees, and then step back in right to the side. So if you don't have the rubber band, it's perfectly okay. You can just do this without it. And inhale, we're gonna do a squat and exhale. Inhale, reach forward and bring it together. Inhale, reach and bring it together. Inhale, reach. The rubber band just adds a little bit more resistance, but you know, honestly, you don't need anything to be able to do this. You can just do it without the band. If you like to use a little more resistance, you get the rubber band a little bit tighter. If you want a little more resistance more than that, then you can pick up your weights and do this. But for now, this is perfect. I'm going to do four more. And three. And two. And last one. Very nice. And then take it to the opposite side. And together. Reach forward and together. So each time you're coming back, really kick off that bent leg. Kick it up and bring the legs together. And kick it up and bring it together. And push the floor away. Good. And five. And four. That's three. That's two. And last one, very nice. Pause here for a moment, shake the legs out, take a little break. We're gonna add a second component to this, our little sets. So we're, we're eventually gonna do just um, 10 of each, 10 repetition with a 30 second break in, in the middle. Now this time, I'd like you to take your legs out once again, and then you're gonna bring the leg back behind you, like a little curtsy, and then out to the side. So back behind you and out to the side. With the arms, you're gonna go out to the side 
and then bring it back in. Out to the side and bring it back in. If you want a little more resistance, you can always pick up your weights and lift it out to the side and bring it back in. But again, you don't need the weights. So I'm gonna leave it entirely up to you. If you really want more, a little bit of a push, you can pick up your weight and lift the arms out. Make sure that if you do have the weight, especially if you have the weight, that you don't go above the shoulder, that you just stay right the shoulder length, shoulder height. And four more. And three. And two. So that left leg is nice and stable. And one way, I shake it out a little bit. We're going to go to the other side. Inhale. Take that left leg back behind you, arms out to the side, and then out. Inhale. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. The more you breathe, the more oxygen you're, you're distributing in your muscles. And actually, the stronger you are. And I like to, when I'm doing exercises like, like this, I like to breathe in and out of my nose. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. And 10, good. And nine, eight, and seven, six, looking good, five, four, three, Two, last one. <laughs> Very nice. Come back to the center, shake it out. Now go to, if you're standing on a mat, go to one end of the mat and you're going to uh, go all the way across your mat and then come back. So generally it takes about maybe three or four steps. So you're going to bend the knees as if you're sitting in a chair. You're going to go out, 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 tap, out, 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 tap. Out, 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 tap, out, 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 tap. Your arms, you're gonna do little tricep presses. You're gonna out, out, so tricep press as you go back, tricep press as you step out to the side and press back. And out, 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 and out, out, out and out, out, out. Again, if you're using the weights, you just keep the weights right next to you and you're pressing back. And one more time, both sides, I'm gonna put all those three components together with a 30 second rest in between. Okay, very good. Come back to the center, shake it out. Get some water if you need to, towel up if you need to. And we're gonna start from, this, uh, from the top of those three components. If you wanna use weight, I encourage you and you know, go for it. If you, if you wanna use the rubber band, if you wanna make it a little bit tighter, in fact, I'm gonna make mine a little bit tighter. If you don't have it or don't wanna use it, it's entirely up to you. The more, the tighter it is, the more resistance you have. Very good. So we start from the top, take a nice deep breath in, bend the knees, sit back, and then you're gonna just straighten one leg and press it together and bend the knee and out. And 10, good. The arms and out. Add the arms if you like to, or you can come forward and 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Beautiful, five, good job. Keep the core engaged, four, three, two, last one, and up and together. And then we're gonna to go to the other side right away and we'll take a 10, 30 second break and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, very nice. Shake it out, 30 seconds. We're just gonna pause here for 30 seconds, catch your breath, water, take some water, do whatever you need to, and then we'll move here in for another, we have two more sets of it. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, shake it out. And 10, get ready, five, four, three, two, and one, and then we're doing the curtsy now. So take your right leg back, arms out to the side, and bring it back in. And same side. And nine, and eight, and seven, six, good. Make sure the arms don't go higher than the shoulders. Four, three, boy, I love these curtsies. I really feel them in my legs. Two, and last one, and then out behind you with the other leg, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, come back to the center, 30 seconds rest. We'll walk it off, take a deep breath in, do whatever you need to, to just kind of move through, let your heart rate lower. You can, sometimes I like to just shake my legs out. That really helps you move the energy through and get the lactic acid through the body. And five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. And then you're gonna come to the um, one end of your mat and you're just gonna do those squats to the side and out and out. Oh, sorry, we were doing the triceps here. So keep the elbows right next to you and just press back. And that's one. Good job. And press. That's two. <laughs> Very nice. The more, the lower you sit, obviously, the more difficult it becomes, but really, let your body speak to you, that's three. So if you need to sit a little bit lower, do. If you don't wanna sit a little bit lower, don't, you know? So that's the beauty of, beauty of exercise. Your body will tell you how much you need to push. And good, good, good. And out. Good, keep it going, last one. Getting your heart rate back up and then that 30 seconds, it allows you to uh, lower the heart rate. So pause here, shake it out, inhale. Whew. Exhale, one more time, inhale. Exhale, last time, inhale. And exhale. Very nice, we have about 10 more seconds and we're gonna start. This is our last set of this uh, set of this movements. So this one, I'm gonna actually use the weight. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. If you want to use the weight, you can. If you don't want, if you just wanna use one weight, you can. If you want to use both of the weights or no weights, you can. So the first one, bend the knees. Always get soft on the knees. Anytime the knees are hyperextended, you put yourself in, you know, the place of maybe getting hurt. So keep the knees bent, take the right, right leg out to the side and bring it back in, okay? So ready, let's go. 10 on each leg, that's 10. Nine. Eight. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, good job. Take it other side. This time I'm gonna to come to the front. 10, so final shoulder raises, a nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, rest for 30 seconds. You can stretch out if you like to, bringing the left arm forward, right arm forward. Just kind of stretch it out. Shake the legs out, catch your breath, lower the heart rate a little bit. Maybe even rotate the ankles. That's a good thing to do in between. Nice. And then we're going to reset. Now the, the curtsy, using the weight, I'm gonna use the weights and leave it up to you, bend the knees, right leg back, and then arms out, together. Out and together, and out and together. That's three, that's four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten Woo, that's a good one take the other leg ten nine seven six five four three two eight after this we'll, we'll rest a little bit longer so hang in there with me six five four three two and last one, very nice. Put your weight down, 30 seconds rest. Good, stretch out the arms. Stretch it overhead. What weight should I be using? So I usually just use really lightweight. I usually use five pounds or three pounds is good too, you know. I, I don't really like to go heavy weights anymore. I think sometimes that just a little, you know, if you're doing really focused bodybuilding training, then heavier weights might be okay. But for our purposes of keeping mobility and flexibility and strength, I think light weights do the work. Okay. So the next one, last, next and last one of this series, you can pick up the weights and this is gonna be for the triceps. Come to one end of the mat. So you're gonna travel across your mat and then come back. Okay, let's do it. 10, nine. So tricep press back. Tricep press back. Keep the shoulders down and, and uh, straight, bend that and straighten the elbow. Each time you travel, you press back and then you bring the legs together, your elbows are straight. 10. Good. Keep it going side to side. The side to side movements for the, for the legs are so great because normally we just move forward and back with our legs. But then as we get older, that's where a lot of times people you know, fall as they're stepping off the curb or something because the uh, outside of their hips are tight and weak. So these side to side movements are really precious. Let's do one more round and then we'll rest. We'll do a nice set of stretch after that. And last one. Good job. Put your waist to the side, please. If you're using weights, take your rubber band to the side. <laughs> And we're going to stretch it out. So come down on your mat. Have a seat. Lean back. 
And then you're just going to take the right leg up, take the right ankle on top of the left knee. You can do this all the way down on your back if you want to and just draw that knee to your chest. Or if you want a little bit more deeper stretch, just have a seat. The closer you bring your heel to your buttocks, the deeper the stretch will be. And this, uh, the more you sit up, the deeper stretch. But make sure that your knee is completely protected. So your right knee ha should have no, you don't want to have even a twinge in the right knee. So if you do, just lie back. Lie down on your back and do the figure four. And then just breathe into the outside of that hip. That was a really good workout for the outer hips. Keep the right foot flexed. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale. And then switch sides, whichever leg you had on the other side, just switch to the opposite side. As long as you keep that ankle flex that really protects the knee. So keep the left foot flex. If you're doing it on your back, you can interlace your fingers behind that hamstring and draw that right knee a little bit closer to you. If you're doing sitting up, see if you want to bring the heel a little bit closer to your buttocks and sit up taller. That gets really deep into that. Keep breathing and then relax, stretch out and um, lie down on your left side, please. Straighten both knees and then bring the, pick up the right foot off the left foot, bend the right knee, grab your right ankle and stretch out the quadricep on that right side. If you like to, you can come all the way down on your, on your elbow, but that's a little bit harder to, maintain your balance. So I usually just like to stay up here. And then the more you bring your heel towards your buttocks, the more stretch you get in that quadricep. See that you can keep the knees right on top of each other. And then switch to the other side. So the legs are straight. Pick up the left foot off the right foot, bend the left knee, reach back and find your ankle. And then as you keep the knees close to each other, you just kind of gently open into the front of that left hip. If you'd like to, you can come all the way down on your side, but if you need for balance, you can stay up on your elbow. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale. So generally, as a rule of thumb, when I do any kind of workouts like this, I always start with the legs. The legs are the bigger muscle groups in our bodies. So now that we got the legs all worked out and warmed up and everything else, now we're going to slowly move up to the body. So grab your weights or the rubber band. Do you have a rubber band? No. Okay, perfect. So grab your rubber band and we're going to go lengthwise here. So I'm going to have you step on top. Nesting, can I use these? Can I use this? Yes, yes, yes. That's perfect, actually. Those are, those are really good. I love this. So you're going to step with your left foot on one end of the rubber band. <clears throat> And then take the right leg out to the side. And you're gonna bring your left foot to your hip, take a nice deep breath in. And we're gonna do what's called an upright row, but slightly different than a normal. So what I want you to do is begin to bend that right elbow and bring the rubber band to your shoulder or chest but make sure the shoulder doesn't go up this way. So keep the shoulder down. All you're doing is using the trap muscles, the trapezius muscles and the muscles in your arms to bring the hand to your armpit or to your chest or to the shoulder and extend it down. So inhale, lift up and lower. Make sure that right shoulder stays down. 
and inhale and lower. And notice how when I'm coming up, the shoulder doesn't, the elbow doesn't come up higher than the shoulder. So this shoulder stays down. And all I'm doing is just kind of an upright row. And five, keep that shoulder down. I always like to just kind of rest my hand there to remind myself to keep it down. And four, I love using rubber bands. So much better than weights, I believe, because you're using the resistance and the strength of your own body to lift three and two. And last one, very nice. Stay on the same side. So same arm, but we're gonna switch your legs. So step on the rubber band with the same leg, the set, uh, right foot. Take the left leg back behind you, bend the right knee. You're gonna bring that elbow up to the side. Again, keep the elbow right next to you, glued next to you. And then you're just gonna press that arm back. Bend the elbow and Press the arm back. So now you're really getting deep into that tricep in the right arm. And press it back. And press. Keep the shoulder down. Good. And five. And four. That's three. Two. And last one. Good job. So same arm, we're not moving, changing arms yet. This time you're stepping on the rubber band with your right foot and we're doing a bicep curl up and down. I'll do it from the side so you can see me. So the elbow stays right next to your body. In fact, you can even keep your hand here if you want to and you're just doing a bicep curl up and down. Palm is up towards the sky. Keep your elbow glued next to your body and straighten the elbow and bend it. Really use the strength in your biceps to lift up and down. And one more thing I want you to kind of pay attention to. A lot of times when we do this, we're gonna use, we use, we tend to use the wrist. I'd like you to see if you can keep the wrist neutral. So all you're doing, the wrist stays neutral, shoulder stays neutral. All you're doing is using your bicep to lift up and lower, lift up and lower, and lift up. A lot of times I have people say, oh, you know, I feel, I didn't really do anything with my wrist, but I feel like I hurt it. And I wonder if they hurt it because they try, you know, they cock the wrist as you lift up. So really keep the wrist neutral and three more. And two, and last one. Very nice. Shake that arm out. Now we're switching sides. So first, the first one is an upright row. Your um, rubber band is gonna go under the right foot. Legs are wide apart from each other. You're holding on to the rubber band with your left foot. Right hand can rest on your wrist, or you can rest it on your shoulder just to remind yourself to keep that shoulder down. Take a nice deep breath in, lift the arm out, keep the elbow on below shoulder height, and then bring it down. And think about lifting as if you're bringing, it, bringing your hand to your armpit or your chest, and lower. And lift, so the torso stays to the front. So I'm not doing any kind of movement like this. The torso stays upright, and all you're doing is using the trapezius muscles and the muscles in your upper arm and upper back and lift and lift, good. And up and five and four, that's three, that's two, last one. And up, good. Same arm, except different foot. We're gonna to go to the triceps. So bring the elbow out. <clears throat> bring the elbow up to hug your body, keep the wrist neutral. Turn the palm away from you so that the palm is facing the back wall. And then you're gonna kick back and kick it back. 
and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Anytime you feel like you're using your shoulders by creeping up, it just maybe it's because it's a sign to just kind of um, lower the resistance a little bit. Good. And then bicep, so the same arm, the elbow stays right next to you. Keep the wrist and shoulder neutral and you're just gonna use a bicep curl and curl up and curl up, nice and slow and curl up. So much of elbow issues are related to the carpal tunnel, you know, we just don't use our wrist uh, adequately or sometimes because of the trauma, past trauma of you have fallen on your hands, the pain transfers um, to the elbows and the shoulders. Two, and last one, very nice. Relax the arms, we're gonna do that two more sets. So interlace the fingers, turn the palms away, stretch out the upper back, and then lift the arms up. And then bring the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, and just kind of stretch open the chest. Shoulders are soft away from the ears. You can even grab opposite elbows if that feels better on the shoulders. And then drop the chin down, just kind of make sure, making sure these were all the muscles that we were just working. So making sure that you're not holding any more tension. Just shake the head side to side, maybe say yes, yes, yes. I love exercising. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 I don't wanna be sick. <laughs> Good, all right. So let's do another set of those. I'm just getting warmed up here. <laughs> Okay, so the first one is the triceps. I'm sorry, the first one is the roll. So uh, let's do left arm, right leg, right hand on your hips, take a nice deep breath in and roll up and down and nine and down and eight. And then remember to keep the shoulder down away from the ears. And six, and down. And five, and down. And four, and down. Three, and down. Two, and one. And then same arm, left arm. We're gonna do the tricep um, press backs now. Turn the palm away and press back and press back. So keep the elbow right next to your body. And four, and three, two, last one, and we're gonna go right away into bicep and bring it up. Keep the, keep the um, elbow right next to your body and really use the bicep to pull up. Keep the wrist neutral, shoulder down, and two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Good, going to the right arm. So first we go to the rows, opposite leg, right leg back, left, up, left leg forward, and then you're just gonna bring it up and down. Bring it up and down. Making sure that right shoulder stays down, you're just doing an upright row. And up, that's four, that's three, two, and one. Going to tricep rows, tricep press back. So it's just switch legs, same arm, bring the elbow up and press back and press back. Palm is pin, uh, towards the back wall. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And last one, bicep curls, and bring it up. Keep the elbow, keep the wrist neutral. Remember, that's the most important thing I want you to really think about. Use your bicep and bring it up. And four, three. Sorry, I'm uh, counting incorrectly. <laughs> Let's do four more and three more, two, and last one. Very, very nice. Relax. Take your rubber band and take it overhead and just kind of open it up and out so that. The closer you bring your hands to each other, obviously the little more resistance, so it's a little bit more difficult. So the wider you go, the easier. So I want you to just kind of take it back behind you, nice and slow, and then all the way up and over. Keep applying resistance to your rubber band, take it back behind you, nice and slow. If you need to go wide, that's perfectly fine. And over. And last one, and over, and then stay in the front and just kind of open the, the band so that it comes and touches your chest and release, inhale, open your arms wide and release and open the arms wide and, and three, good, and two, and last one. Very, very nice. Such a good job. That's awesome. So we're done with that. Put the weights down, put the resistant band down. We're going to get down on the mat. So come down on your mat. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. Come down on your mat, on your back. We're going to do some abs because, well, I love abs and I feel like our practice is not done till we do some serious abs. <laughs> so come down on your back, interlace the fingers behind your head, pick up your right foot off the ground, keep the right foot flexed, inhale, and exhale, you're just gonna lift the head and shoulders up and lower the head and shoulders down. So this is perfect, you can stay here. Otherwise, you can inhale, bring the I'm sorry, exhale, come on up, bring the knee closer to your chest and inhale, lower the foot, tap and lower the head and shoulders. So inhale here, exhale, lift up, bring the knee close to your chest. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale. Tap, exhale up. Make sure you're not yanking on your neck. Your elbows are wide out to the side. And all you're doing is really contracting the, the core muscles, your abdominal muscles to lift up. So it doesn't, you don't even have to lift up that high. All you want to focus on is contracting these muscles right here. And two, and last one, and then switch sides. So pick up the left foot off the ground. You can stay here, inhale, and just exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, or add the leg if you like to. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And that's nine, and eight, and seven, so really just contract the middle section, your midsection to lift up. And exhale, and last five, four, three, and two, and last one, very, very nice. Now lower the foot down, Bring the bottom of your feet together, bottoms of your feet together, let the knees go out to the side. Take your hands and just kind of put them together like prayer pose. Inhale, and then exhale, reaching between your legs and you're just gonna do little pulses up, little pulse, like you're reaching your fingertips towards your heels. 
and 10 and 9 and 8 and 7 and 6 and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and last one very nice all the way down bring your knees together draw your knees to your chest rock a little bit side to side just pause here for a moment we have one more set so just take a rest for just a few moments. And then take your knees away from your chest so that your hips are 90 degrees, your knees are 90 degrees. Take your hands behind your head once again. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up and then twist over to the left, back to the center, twist over to the right, back to the center and lower so that's one set okay inhale lift exhale to the left center to the right center and down that's two inhale exhale lift to the left center to the right center down that's three inhale exhale lift to the left center to the right center down that's four inhale exhale lift to the left center to the right center down that's five now we're going to go the opposite direction so we're going to lift up to the right center left okay inhale exhale lift to the right center to the left center down that's one inhale exhale lift to the right, center to the left, center down, that's two, three more to go and you're all done, inhale, exhale, lift to the right, center to the left, center down, that's three, two more, inhale, lift to the right, center and left, center down, and last one, inhale, and exhale, lift to the right, center to the left, center and down good job Woo, that was good lengthen your legs reach your fingertips overhead stretch it out flex the feet reach your heels away from your hips reach your fingertips away from the top of your head maybe take it to the side stretch out the obliques on the right Take it to the other side, stretch out those legs on the left. Take it back to the center, bring your knees towards each other, towards your chest once again. Take your right leg all the way up towards the sky, grab your ankle or your um, uh, calf and just gently stretch out the hamstring on that side, nice and slow. Your hips are gonna wanna come out, that's okay, let it come out. It's a nice stretch for your low back as well and then switch sides left leg up interlace the fingers either around the ankle or the calf and just gently draw it in good good stretch for your hamstring take a nice deep breath in exhale bring the knees to your chest once again take your knees all the way over to the left so you're doing a nice little Little twist, stretching out all the oblique muscles, your low back muscles, your abdominal muscles, even maybe a little bit of the IT band. And then back to the center and take it all the way over to the other side. Just let the knees drop. And then come back to the center. And I'm just gonna have you cross your ankles. And as you cross your ankles, bring your knees a little bit closer to your chest. And just like, almost like you're sitting cross-legged, except that you're on your back. And just kind of, you know, wag your tail side to side, rock on your low back a little bit side to side. This is, this is actually stretching out the outer hips to, and then switch this, the, which leg is in front or on top, grab your ankles or your shins, or you can grab the outside edges of your feet and just kind of rock it side to side. Okay. 
and then slowly, slowly you're gonna come on up. So sit up, roll over to one side. You're gonna come on all the way to a standing. And we're just gonna do a, a, a little forward fold. But I, what I want you to do is take your right leg and put it behind your left leg. As you do that, you're gonna to need to bend your knees deep and then slowly begin to just bend, uh, bring your forehead to the chin, and that really stretches out the IT band on the right side in the hamstring. So don't worry about trying to uh, straighten the right knee. I want you to really focus on leaning your hips to the right. So as you lean your hips to the right, you feel a nice stretch in that other hip. And then slowly unwind, bringing your right foot next to your left foot, keep the knees bent, take your left foot and put it behind the right foot. And then as you lean over to the left side, you can keep the knees bent, just drop your head down. I feel this stretch all the way on the side of my hip right here. Take a nice deep breath in and then exhale. Uh, bring the left foot next to the right foot, bend the knees and then slowly, <clears throat> slowly begin to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Take your feet wide apart, bend your knees, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees, reach down, inhale, reach up two more times, really reach. Exhale, and one more time, inhale, reach up. Now this time, interlace the fingers, reach the hands away from the top of your head. Exhale, release. Give yourself a huge hand for showing up, taking care of your body, making sure you're healthy and well. 